Hello and welcome everybody. It's me again. Uh, here I've got a little special uh, piece that I'm posting. Uh, this was something sent kind of as a comedic thing, but something I said, you know what, I'll give it a shot, see how what kind of uh, attention this video gets. But anyways, this is a uh, video um, someone had sent me t saying uh, they're German, and so they sent me 10 German words non-Germans can't pronounce. So here's the article I'm basing this off of. This is by a, a, a company or news article, whatever, DW.com, um, posted exactly as such. So I'll be doing a little bit of reading from this page. All credit goes to them and uh, such and, and whatnot. But uh, anyways, as you know, uh, I'm an American and I, um, yeah, I don't know how to speak any other languages other than uh, written languages for coding a few of those but uh, nothing nothing I'd say is a spoken language here I um, know a few but anyways um, without further ado the first word on this list being that uh, most of my friends are outside of the United States online anyways um, is this one here I don't know how I'm going to begin with this um, the English written piece here is uh, German, uh, this German word is famous for its unbelievably long compound words. While the length of a word isn't necessarily proportional to its long twisting capacity, the sheer mass of letters is enough to bring even the most advanced language learners to their knees. Great, this is a great way to, uh, to get me into this, but uh, it looks like this word is, uh, it means small matchbox. So that's, that's going to be important during this. Um, I'm just going to imagine a small matchbox when I say... When I say, um, oh, this is intimidating. Strickholshash <laughs> Telchen. Uh, Strickholshelchen. I don't know. But Google Translate probably has has an interesting uh, version. So let's listen to theirs. Oh, I was so close. Let's hear that again. Yeah, I'm going to stick with small matchbox on that one. On to the next one. Here we have... Uh, oh. Uh, bread rolls typically eaten for breakfast with cheese. Okay. This one seems easier. Um, it's either going to be Brochten or Brockton. So let's... Uh, that's, that's, that's my guess. I'm going to go and put this into uh, Google Translate here and see what happens. Brötchen. Brötchen. Bro Brötchen. 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 It sounds like protein. I don't know, which is odd because it's actually a carbohydrate. Anyways, yeah, these words are definitely not doing me so well. Um, here we've got another long word with a squirrel. Is it red squirrel? Oh, it's just squirrel. Just squirrel is this word here. Um, so if I had to go for that one, I'm going to go with... Uh, I, Ichhornchen. 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 Ichhornchen? That's, that's what we're going with. Uh, do a little copy-paste magic here. And give this one a... Ichhornchen. I ain't ho I ain't ho I ain't <laughs> See, if I just don't enunciate anything and just kind of make some noises, it seems like uh, seems like I'll get this one just fine. I ain't ho I ain't If I just muffle it. <laughs> See? Perfect. Yeah, that's probably really offensive, and I apologize to anyone uh, <laughs> who speaks this on a regular basis, and this is easy peasy uh, for you. Anyways, the next one looks like, what? This is cats? No. What is this, a purse? This one is a word, but a number. Oh, this is a, tw this is a number. This is 20. Okay, well, even with this hint, German is a Z pronounced like tss. So, Swanzig, Swanzig, Swanzig. Swansig. Tss, tss. All right, here we go. Google, do your magic. Swansig. Oh, there's two of them. Swan. Swansig. Swansig. Okay. 
But he's kind of saying 20. Oops. 20. 20. 20. <laughs> I don't know. That one seems like Google is lying to me. This one just seems like fruit. Frucht. Yeah. Um, fruit. I'm going to go with that. Um, I want to see what the Google version is, of course. Frucht. Frucht. Okay, so they say that a little bit. They also say that I can use this obst, um, obst as a version two. Obst, obst. Okay. See, there's. I'm learning. I'm learning all sorts of words today. This all started because of uh, me kind of intermingling with a couple of uh, German uh, citizens, so to speak, and leaving them anonymous. But anyways, uh, I used to say Gesundheit, and it's you know like a mix of saying bless you or whatnot and that's obviously german um then we played some of that uh game called scribble io uh very fun but we would alternate languages and so i had to do a lot of translations learn the word ice cream out of it which is just e-i-s pretty cool because that's shorter than ice cream and means the same thing but these ones are much different anyways that was my side tracking and now um here we have a re regisseur regisseur Regisseur, double S, followed by a double S color. Okay, um, borrowed its neighbor, German ear, context to mainly refer to theater, silver screen. Um, okay, well, you know what? As always, give it to Google and see what happens if I can copy the right part of the text. All right. Regisseur. Regisseur. Yeah, it's kind of like register without a T. Um, <laughs> oh Google. Anyways, this next one. Schlitschun uh, laufen. Schlitschun laufen. That's what I'm going with. It looks like it's a pair of ice skates from the image. Um, form entirely different sounds, but both are impossible depending on how coordinated you are. Saying German word for ice skating could actually be easier than doing it. And um, yeah. Anyways, let's see how the how Google thinks uh, thinks it should be said. Do a little copy paste magic here, and you'll see the highlighting there. And bam. Schlittschuhlaufen. 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 Laufen. Laufen. Not laufen. Okay. Well, on to the next one. Um, looks like alphabet soup or noodles. While the word for spelling is feet. Um, that's because spelling rules have been changed, and I don't know what this is. What is this image? Well, the word for spelling is a feat. Okay, but what is the word? I guess I'll find out when I put it into translate and see what it's supposed to be. Spelling. Oh, it's the word for spelling, which is uh, <sighs> rectribung. Rechtschreibung. Rechtschreibung. <laughs> I don't roll my R's. Recht. Rechtschreibung. Rechtschreibung. Schreibung. Rechtschreibung. Rechtschreibung. <laughs> this is getting worse and worse. Anyways, um, this is not actually a word, right? This can't be a word on the list. Happy? How could they possibly say happy much different than us? Happy. 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 Wow, sounds exactly the same way. Boom. Anyways, um, that one, I'll take that one. Easiest, easy peasy, well, lemon squeezy. But this next one here, um, Ronchen. Ronchen. Ronchen? I don't know if they actually pronounce the T or if it's soft and silent, but uh, apparently it's an X ray. So here's the last word. Enjoy. Ronchen. 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 I don't know. <laughs> I give up. But like I said, this was uh, one of those specialty uh, type videos that someone asked me to do and I thought I'd give it a try. Let me know what you think about it, if I should do more things like this or not. Maybe I should make a sub channel um, or a secondary channel rather and post content like this where it's more of the uh, funny meme -y stuff rather than the uh, game playthroughs and things of that nature. But once again, article brought to you by www.dw.com and this article is 10 German words 
non-Germans can't pronounce. So with that, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I had a terrible time at doing this, and um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Adios.